Welcome to FM Education Academy YouTube channel, a channel where quality content is provided to you all daily. So if you find our video helpful, then like this video, share this video and please subscribe to our channel. So let's start this video. In today's video, we will be discussing exercise 1.3, fourth question, fourth bit, in which we have to express the following decimals in the form of P by Q and write the prime factors of Q and it is also asking us what do you observe. So decimal form is given, we have to convert it into rational form of P by Q and then write the prime factors of Q and then say what we observe. So let's start. So first you know the usual procedure that whenever a decimal form which is non-terminating repeating is given we have to assume this as x so let x is equals to 0 0.63 bar now 0 0.63 bar means that 63 is repeating so it can be written as 0 0.63 63 and so on that we have to write as first equation now we have to check for the periodicity here the Digits 6, 3 are 2, that is periodicity is 2, means we have to multiply this with 100. Remember, whenever uh, the periodicity is 2 means multiply it with 100. If periodicity is 1, periodicity is 1 means you will have bar, that is this uh, digits will repeat only one time. Suppose you have 0 0.3 bar, it means what is the periodicity here? Periodicity is 1, so in that case you have to multiply it with 10. Suppose you have 0 0.7 4, 9 bar means, how, what is the periodicity? 3 because here the bar is there on 3 digits. So in that case multiply it with 1000. But here the bar is there on 2 digits. So multiply it with 100. So we are going to multiply the whole equation 1 with 100. So multiply equation 1 with 100 on both sides. Remember, whenever you have you multiply anything in an equation, you have to multiply on LHS as well as you have to multiply on RHS. So, 100 into x is equals to 100 into 0 0.636363 and so on. What did we do here? We are multiplying this equation 1 with 100 on both sides. So, now what will 100 into x becomes? 100 into x becomes 100x and how to multiply this 100 with this 0 0.636363? Remember, Whenever multiplication is there, shift it by right side. Since there are two zeros, you will shift it by two sides, means on right side. One, two. So what is this uh, number become? 63.6363. Okay. And so on. Let this be equation two. This was rough work. Okay. Now, what we'll do? What is the procedure? You have to subtract equation two minus equation one. So first write the equation to 100x is equals to 63.6363 and so on. Then write the um, first equation that is x is equals to 0 0.6363 and so on. Subtract it. Nothing is there here before x means here the number is 1. 100 minus 1 is 99. x is equals to 3 minus 3 0. 6 minus 6 0. 3 minus 3 0. 6 minus 6 0. Point below point. 3 minus 0 3. 63.00. It means that 99 x is equals to 63 because after point 0 has no value. So this becomes x is equals to 63 as it is into 99. If it goes outside, it becomes divided by 99. Now, this will go in 3 table. 3 twos are 6, 3 ones are 3, 3 threes are 9, 3 threes are 9. Again, it will go in 3 table. 3 sevens are 21, 3 elevens are 33. So, we got the value of x as 7 by 11. So, we have expressed it in the form of p by q. It told us, right, to express the ratio number in the form of p by q. So, here we can write that. What are the factors of q? Q has factors ele of 11 and 1. That is Q has factors other than 2 and 5. Why are the factors not 2 and 5? Because this was non-terminating repeating decimal. We know from the theorem that if it is a non-terminating repeating decimal, then the denominator Q will not be of the form of 2 power n into 5 power m. That is Q will not have factors as 2 and 5. That is why we observe that Q does not have factors other than uh, Q has factors other than 2 or 5. That is Q has factors 11 and 1. So we can say that 7 by 11 is a rational number. It is a rational number but it will not have factors of 2 and 5. That is what we observe. 
Okay, so this completes our fourth bit. Remember to like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel because if you help someone, then God will help you. Thank you.